G'day everybody, I need your help. So basket case, the, the fuel tank on it is stuffed. Um, those of you that follow the channel will be aware that it had a leak, um, most likely in a weld in the in a weld in panel um, that allowed fuel vapor to get through, got under the paint and has made a mess. And it's also migrated now to the other side of the fuel tank. And this is what I've got to work with. Um, so this is a XS1100 fuel tank in spite of the fact that it says something like XJ550 on, on, the, on the filler cap, uh, it is actually an XS1100 fuel tank. And this is my question. If you are a welder, fabricator, panel beater, um, bike builder type of guy, uh, I want a bit of advice on this. I'll, uh, I'll walk you through what I'm talking about. Well, this is the tank. It's as rough as guts. Uh, it's got a couple of really nice big indentations in it on the corners. The paintwork is an absolute shocker. Uh, so my plan is to coat it with a chemical stripper and get all the paint off it right back to bare metal. I want to continue the theme that I've got on basket case already. So this fuel, fuel filler fat flap on the other tank, um, it's just removed by three Phillips head screws. I cut this out and um, another panel was welded in and then a piece of um, exhaust tube, two inch exhaust tube was welded into the tank to receive the Monza style fuel cap. What I'm thinking about doing here, I've got, <clears throat> as far as I can see, I've got a couple of options. Uh, what I'm thinking is cutting a disc and welding it over the top of the existing fuel filler neck. Then I can weld a panel in the top here and not have to worry about fuel vapours getting to it. I only have to make sure I've got this sealed. That's, that's my thoughts there. But I've got concerns about making sure that I do the right thing in terms of treatment underneath that panel. And will, it, will there be any expansion, contraction? Is there going to be any issues in doing it that way. The other option, of course, is to do what was done before, and that's to cut it out around um, around here, make a infill panel, and just weld in the whole the panel, and the tank would all be flush. Um, obviously, you sink the the fuel filler tube in low enough that you you have the right amount of um, air space for expansion. So that's my question. What's the best way to go? Uh, an old TIG welded, I, I presume the other guy MIG welded it. This is the problem. I trusted someone else to do that welding for me. Um, only because uh, it was convenient at the time. So I'll TIG weld it. Um, but yeah, so the question I guess is, do I just weld over the top of the existing filler hole then put a panel in the top? My thoughts are probably blast that with a bit of um, garnet or something and clean all the rust right up on it. Um, clean it back to bare metal and then paint it with some sort of weld through primer. I don't know, that's why I'm asking. I'm not a, um, I'm not a paint and body guy. And that sort of leads me to another point. If you are, if you have experience with this sort of thing and you have good advice for me, please leave a comment um, about how, how best to approach it and uh, I'll probably end up pinning what I sort of view as being the best option to the top of the comments section. And we'll leave that there forever more in case anybody else has um, a similar question about this type of an application. So yes, I want to weld that up. Um, I want to put the monster style cap off to the left, uh, off to the side. Do I cut the whole thing out and weld in one panel or do I weld that fill her up and then put a cover panel over the top. The, that's the question. Um, I'd appreciate your feedback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.